This is going to be a iris sutured IOL, a relatively simple case, and you can see a little area of uh, loss of integrity of the anterior capsule allowing this lens to sunset. The first thing we're going to do is capture the three-piece IOL by injecting some myostat. And since I didn't get a very good meiotic reaction, I'm actually grabbing the iris with a micro holder to put the iris on a little bit of stretch. Then using a tenoproline on a CIF4 needle, we're going into the eye through a paracentesis underneath the haptic. And then you can just stab that needle right out through any uh, incision. You don't need an exit wound. 180 degrees across, we're going to find the other haptic. Again, going through a paracentesis, we're going to go under the haptic through the iris. And in this case, I'm able to find my, my main wound to exit with the needle. Now I'm going to go in with a cond and snare and grasp that distal edge of the suture and retrieve it through the paracentesis and then tying a modified seeps or knot we're going to secure that superior haptic in place to the iris. I have another video that I'll post pretty soon that really shows how to tie this knot. Now the second haptic we can tie slightly differently because I have the sutures coming out through my main wound and it just so happened that that the haptic lined up with the main wound. So here we're just going to tie a more traditional mechanical style suture. We're going to cut the ends quite short using a scissor and then prolapse the optic back posterior to the iris. For the distal sutures I'm going to use a micro scissor uh, to help cut the tenoproline and then the two edges and two ends can be removed from the eye. The case ends with a small anterior vitrectomy using Kenlog or triessence just to make sure no vitreous is prolapsed through the wound. One or two sutures are placed to keep everything watertight. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Feel free to email me at bairs at willseye.org.